Because Christ lives, we too shall live forever through faith in him. Amen. The word of God we want to consider today is again our epistle reading for this past Sunday, which was the third Sunday of Easter. We're looking at 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 17 to 21, especially looking today at verses 18 and 19, but I'll share the entire section with you again, where Peter wrote, Since you call on a father who judges each man's work impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who, was raised, who raised him from the dead, and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. My dear friends in Christ, as we looked at this reading yesterday, we heard Peter saying, live your lives as strangers here, recognizing that this isn't our real home. And how thankful we have to be that this isn't our real home because in this life, we have our problems and troubles. And as I told you yesterday, well, I did have my cancer surgery, my prostate cancer surgery. And well, I'm doing this devotion before that surgery. Pray, that the, pray and know that the Lord was with me and was taking care of me the whole time. But isn't it wonderful to know that in this life we have things like cancer and we have diabetes and we have bad knees and bad shoulders, but we have this place where that's never going to be a problem ever again. We are going to have glorified bodies, perfect bodies, because, well, as it says here, it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers. Well, think about it. It's not gold or silver that buys us heaven. And, well, that can't rescue us from the empty way of life that we could have in this world. And the empty way of life, well, that would be thinking... Well, think of the Jews who lived their lives and were trying to keep God's laws and follow the laws of Moses to try to earn their way to heaven. That's an empty way of life because it couldn't lead to anywhere. Because if by our own deeds we were going to earn our way to heaven, we'd have to be perfect, completely perfect. And that's not something that we can do. We fall short. We've sinned and we fall short of the glory of God. Oh, and maybe think about, oh, the, the Gentile people who would have been around Peter at this particular time. You think of those people, maybe they worship their different idols. And, and again, that's an empty way of life because those idols couldn't give them anything. Those idols, well, they couldn't deliver a person from sickness or illness like our God does. They certainly can't get a person to heaven. So many people in this life, they're living an empty way of life that has no real meaning. But we don't have an empty life and that's because, well, not with perishable things, but with the precious blood of Christ we've been redeemed. We've been bought back from Satan and sin. And, well, Jesus, with his holy, precious blood, he paid for all of our sins. And now it describes him as a lamb without blemish or defect. That has to get you to think of the Old Testament Passover, thinking about how the Israelites were freed from their slavery in Egypt, and now with this precious blood of Christ, this holy, 
perfect lamb. The lamb of God who is the son of God, who is true God, who also became true man in order to be our savior. Well, he could pay for all of our sins and he did pay for all of our sins. And because of that, well, we've been redeemed from this empty way of life and now even in this world, even as we live in this sinful world, we don't have an empty way of life anymore. We have a real life. We have a real life because we're living as believing children of God and we're on that path with the Lord Jesus' help and guidance and the Holy Spirit's help and guidance to guide us to our eternal home in heaven. Oh, so many people have an empty way of life. But just think about how blessed you are. Your life has real meaning because of Jesus, because you were redeemed, not with perishable things such as silver or gold, but you were redeemed with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. And because of that, you can be certain that heaven is your home. Let's pray. Lord God, we're praying today. It's the day after Pastor Eckert's surgery. And we thank you for being with the doctors and the nurses. And we thank you for taking care of him according to your will. Please take, continue to take care of him. And continue to help him along on the road to recovery. We're speaking this not knowing exactly the results of the surgery, of course, but we're trusting in you, knowing that no matter what the results, you show your people your love. How blessed we are to know that we've been saved from an empty way of life with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Lord God, please help us always to trust in Jesus the Savior and to know that we don't have an empty way of life anymore. We have a life that's full of meaning because of Jesus, because he's ultimately going to take us home to heaven with him forever. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus, we pray in your name. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Amen.